Hey everybody, welcome back to The Couch. My name is Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. Today I'm gonna give you five tips on how to return to work after your maternity leave. So let's get right into the video. Hey. All right, <laughs> so I'm going back to work. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, that's my little nervous laugh because I am going back to work. Here in Ontario, we have it really good. We get up to 18 months of maternity, parental, you know, all of that stuff on leave. Yes, 18 months of just being home, raising your baby. Now this, I believe, is such a privilege because I know that in some parts of the world, you only get six weeks, some give you eight weeks, depending on if you have a natural birth or a cesarean section. It's crazy. So I've been off for about 12 months, so that's what I selected. I could have chosen in 18 months but I decided 12 months is what I needed and boy I'm telling you it's hard it's hard after you've spent 12 months just being at home with your babies to now get back into the swing of things and go back to work now I know that we can see the benefits for having a year off but there are also some cons to the whole thing because you can really get relaxed and you know get into your own way and and forget about your routines and just completely just you know mellow out and then when you get that call hey it's time to go back to to work you're like I, I'm not quite ready yet but I have five really cool tips for you to help you get ready to help you return to work after your maternity leave because we don't want to be dragging our feet and you know like all of that stuff we want to avoid it we want to go back fresh we want to go back looking good and we want to go back feeling good so whether you have six weeks of maternity leave or you have 12 months like I did here are some tips that are gonna help you. Tip number one, right off the bat. Number one, start early when you're looking for arrangements for your kids. That means if you're gonna be putting your kids in daycare, or if you need an in-home babysitter, or if you're sending them off to Nana's house, whatever the case is, start early. You wanna make sure that, especially if you're planning to bring your children to a daycare, that you start that process early. Some daycares have two, three years waiting list, and you don't wanna get to the month before you're ready to go back to work and start calling places and be very, very disappointed. Start that process as early as possible. Even the first month after being on maternity leave. You wanna start calling some places that you hope to get your child into and make sure that if the place has a waiting list that you get your name and your family on that waiting list. You wanna make sure that you have the best options available for your child and the best way to do that is to start the process early. Number two, I'm gonna ask you please, please as much as possible, get back into a routine. I know that we're used to waking up at different times or going to bed at different times. Like for me, I'm waking up really early because my daughter wakes up early and then I go to bed really late because that's when I get to be productive. But before you go back to work, start your routine again. Start to wake up by your alarm clock if that's how you wake up. Do that, set it for the time that you would normally get ready to go to work. Get up at those times, get your body back into the swing of things, get the kids back into that kind of routine. Just do it, like even a month before you have to go back to work, start setting your alarm, start waking up on time, start even getting dressed and getting yourself ready to go back to work. The earlier you can do this, the easier your body will feel when it's time to actually go back to work. Hey everybody, I hope that you're enjoying the video so far and I hope that these tips are helpful. Just so you know, I post videos videos like this every Monday. On Mondays we tackle motherhood, anything motherhood related, pregnancy related, anything that you need to know, I'm covering it. So if I haven't done so already and you have a topic in mind, put it down in the comments. I'll be just happy, elated, ecstatic to cover it for you. Remember, if you want to see things like this, subscribe, join the club and hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. And also stay to the end of the video. I'm going to be right here waiting, waiting for you so that we can do mom's the word. So go watch and come right back. Number three is, oh, 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 yes, I have two bonus tips for you. I know I said five, but I have two more because I always like to give you a little bit extra. So make sure that you watch to the end. Number three is really fun. This is do a try on haul of all your work clothes. Try your clothes on. You do not wanna get to the day before you have to go to work, realizing that things don't pull up and button where they're supposed to and then it's a mess. If you do this try on haul early enough, you can discover what fits and what doesn't, and then you can take the appropriate actions. If you have to go and buy a couple of work blouses or a couple of pants that will be suitable for your job, you can do that with ease ahead of time. Get your clothes out, try them on, see what works, see what fits, 
and make sure that you're comfortable. Tip number four is to get on the phone and speak to your employer. You wanna make sure that you're calling ahead of time to make arrangements. You never know, there might be changes in the office, there might be things that you need to be aware of, there might be things that you need to let them know of, ways to accommodate you. For example, if you're still breastfeeding and needing to pump. Take a picture, it'll last longer. I'm sorry, it's just, it's a little distracting. You have to find out, do they have a facility that you can do that? Will there be an area or a place for you to go? You wanna make sure that you just kind of figure all of these things out ahead of time. Call your employer, tell them how excited you are to get back to work and find out, has anything changed? Is there anything that I need to be made aware of? And hey, this is my situation. What are the accommodations that you can offer for those things? Get that conversation rolling, maybe call once or twice. It doesn't matter, but you do wanna make sure that you are calling calling your employer and just getting that initial, you know, getting back to work ball rolling. You wanna call them, let them know that you're excited to come back and this is what to expect from your end and ask questions about what you should expect from them. So for me, for example, I had my baby right in the beginning of when the world just went crazy. So I needed to call back ahead of time to find out what the protocol was. Did I need to be aware of anything? Were there changes? What were the stipulations and the rules for me returning back to work? Did I have to wear a mask? What about gloves? You know, all of the safety precautions and procedures I wanted to be made very clear what those things were, what to expect going in, and I believe that I have a very good understanding of what to expect on my first day back. Now, of course, my first day back is a Monday, but this will lead me to my next point that I think that everybody should take advantage of. This point, you want to drive out to your work. Go in the car, get on the bus, do that route. Even if you're dropping kids off at daycare ahead of time, you wanna map that out. You don't wanna just on the day of just figure things out. You wanna just make sure that you're getting an idea of how the day is going to flow. The better you're prepared for the day, the more comfortable you're gonna feel and the more successful you are gonna be in returning back to work. So if you have to drop kids off to daycare or drop them off to Nana's house or whatever the case is, you wanna map out your route and you wanna actually get in the car or on the bus and go. This is gonna help you feel more comfortable on the day of. You never know, a year is a long time sometimes. It, a lot can happen between the day you go off off on maternity leave and the day you are returning. For example, there could be road closures, there can be a more congestion of traffic, there could just be a whole bunch of situations and things that you are not made aware of. If you're taking the bus, for example, your route might be different. Maybe you used to take the seven bus and now you have to take the nine. You wanna figure this stuff out in advance. You don't wanna get to the day of and have to be worried about, am I catching the right bus? Am I going the right way? Will I be on time? Figure all of that stuff out in advance and that way you can be more successful when you return turn to work after your maternity leave. I have two bonus tips for you. <laughs> I always try to give you a little bit extra. I know I said five, but I have two bonus tips for you. Tip number one, six. Tip, this bonus tip number one, which is actually tip number six. <laughs> It is wean your baby. Try to get your baby to detach from the breast as early as you feel comfortable. Even if you are gonna continue to breastfeed while you go back to work, make sure that you have something in plan for baby when you're not there. If baby is used to drinking breast milk, make sure that you're pumping enough breast milk so that your baby can have that milk for them when you are not there. And ensure that the baby knows how to take that bottle. Right now I am doing a fantabulous job of weaning my baby. It was a little bit rocky. <laughs> I will probably make a video about the different things that I've learned when I was weaning her. And I think that we're a little bit successful now. I think we've gone two nights in a row where I did not nurse her to bed. She took a bottle instead, but you can look out for that if you're interested in seeing something like that. Put a comment down below. The weaning process for me was easy with my son, very hard with my daughter. <laughs> but I think that uh, we, I think we're out of the woods now, and I think that I'm free. So my last bonus tip for you is discuss your plans to return to work with your family and your close village. You want to let the villagers know what your intentions are. Let them know what your work schedule is. Put them on notice that in case something happens at work and you're a little bit delayed, that you might need somebody to step in and pick baby up from daycare, or you might need to pick up dinner on the way. Let husband know, hey, we're running a little bit late. I'm going to be buying dinner tonight. Whatever the case is, you want to talk to your village about what is going to be happening when you return to work. So those are my tips guys now 
let's get into Mom's the Word. It's time for Mom's the Word. Guys, last week I asked you a really, really simple question. What is your favorite food? And I just wanted to get to know you guys a little bit, and I'm so glad that I asked that. Unfortunately, the question made me very hungry, but this was my favorite answer because I've never tried this food before, and I'm a little bit curious. So this person right here, this really awesome, cool YouTuber, I love their family. Make sure that you check out their channel. They said catfish. I've never had catfish. Put a comment down below. Have you ever had catfish? Is it good? What does it taste like? Should I eat some? Like, let me know. And where should I go to get some catfish? Let me know in the comments down below. The question for this week is another get to know you question. I want to know what your favorite song is. So thank you guys for staying to the end of the video. I am jumping around because I am cold. Outside is freezing, but I love to do this segment outside because I get to see the elements and get a little bit of fresh air as well. I hope that you love this video and I'm glad that you are here. If you're not already a part of the club, join the club and hit that subscribe button and also ring that little bell so that you know when I post new videos. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and I will see you in the next video. Oh, but before I go, I want to remind you, there's a 500 subscriber giveaway. Did you see that video? I'm going to post it right here so that you can watch it. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a Nutribullet and I want one of you lucky people to have that really, really soon. So go ahead, watch that video, join the club, do all the things, and I will see you in the next video.